time, position, velocity, working at different speeds. So here we have a graph which is distance versus time graph and we will try to understand during the different legs shown in this graph what are the speeds or how the speed changes and how it can be related with the slope. Okay. Now let's review what we have learned in the previous two videos. From a distance versus time graph we can always read the position right? and we can read directly distance and time. So let's mark the points or the positions and then read time and distance for each position. Okay. Let's say this is point A, this is B, then we have C and D. Right. Can you tell me what is the position A? So A will be 0, 0. It means time is 0. Along the x-axis we have independent variable time given in minutes. Each small division here is 4 minutes, so 4, 8, 12, 16 and so on. Along the vertical axis we have distance d in meters and each division here is 100 meters, right? So let a be the starting point and the starting point is 0, 0. That means at time t equals to 0, distance is 0. Now this graph we have just written here distance versus time for Mike. So in my story Mike is the character which is moving along this path, right? And let's assume that Mike is also going towards the school from home. In that case, home is position A, which is at 0, 0. Now can you tell me the position B? Position B should be first write down the time, which is 4, 4, 200, the distance, right? Similarly, C will be time 12. So after 12 minutes, position will be 400 meters. So 12, 400. And D, time is 24. And distance is 600, right? So from a distance versus time graph, we can straight away find position where the first coordinate is the x value, the independent variable time, and the second one is the dependent variable, in this case distance, right? So that is called an ordered pair, 4, 200, in which first is the x coordinate, in this case the time t, and 200 is your the vertical or dependent parameter coordinate, right? So that is your y coordinate, 200. So that is the position. Okay. Now you can see from here that if we have these legs A, B, B, C and C, D, they have different slopes. A, B is much steeper than B, C and B, C is steeper than C, D, right? So slope of A, B is much higher than slope of C, D. Okay. Now slope you also learn is same as velocity or speed in a distance time graph. So by finding slope we actually can find speed of an object moving along the path. Right? Now let's calculate speed from the given graph. Speed at t equals to 2 minutes. When we say t equals to 2 minutes, what do we mean? This is 4, so 2 minutes will be kind of like here, right? So we say speed at this point. Now we are trying to find speed at this point. Let us understand one thing, that all along the path AB speed is same, right? Because it's a straight line. Now, and how much is it? So we can make a triangle here. And if you make this triangle, change in distance is 200 and change in time is 4. So we could write this as 200 divided by 4. And that is 50. And the units are change in distance is in meters and change in time is in minutes. So 50 meters per minute. Now if you want to consider speed at t equals to 8, let's do this. Speed at t equals to 8, then what are we trying to do? We are trying to find 
at t equals to 8, the position will be here, right? So this is along the leg BC. So speed will be same as slope of BC. So let's make a triangle BC and figure out what is the speed. Now in this triangle, change in distance is from 200 to 400. Therefore the change is of 200 and change in time is from 4 to 12. 4 and 4, 8. Change in time is 8. So we have 200 over 8 which gives us 25 meters per minute. Right? Now let's see the third part which is t equals to 20 minutes. What is the speed? Let's try to make a triangle there. t equals to 20. So t equals to 20 is this time and let's go and play. That means the position is somewhere here on the leg CD. Since this is a straight line, speed at any point between C and D is same. Right? So let's consider the triangle CD. Now here, change in position is from 400 to 600. That means 200 meters. That is the change in position and change in time is each unit is 4. 4, 8, 12. So it is 12, right? So if you divide 200 by 12, it is going to be 12 times 2 is 24. It is so, so 12 times 1 is 12, and then we have, so we can divide this by 3 and then get our answer, right? 50, one third of this time, correct? So 50 divided by 3, 320, around 16. 0.66 right there. meters per minute right so it is 1200 200 over 12 which is around 16.5 meters per minute right one third of this do you see that now so we see that the speeds are different speed is much higher here now during this leg it is half of this right during B to C, the slope is lesser, the speed is half, and during C to D, it is one third of the speed between A and B, right? So, slope gives us the speed. Now, along a straight line, if you make any triangle, the speed is going to be same. So, it's made better to make a bigger triangle with good points, right? So, that is how we find speed at any point on the graph where the lines are straight lines. We'll consider more examples where the lines will not be straight. In that case, we are going to draw a tangent, right? But for the time being, if the line is a straight line, we can make a triangle as we did here and find change in distance over change in time, which will give us the speed. Now, as an exercise for you, you need to find every speed of Mike from 4 minutes to 24 minutes. That means from this point, to this point. So find average speed as the time changes from 4 minutes to 24 minutes. That means you have to make this big triangle, right? And then find out change in distance, which will be 600 minus 200, over change in time, which is 24 minus 4. So 600 divided by 20 will give you average speed between 4 minutes and 24 minutes. Similarly, you can also find average speed between starting and end point, right? So, practice doing all this, all right? I will appreciate if you could make a story out of this and make your own description, right? So, the story for us could be that the mic, mic starts from home towards the school, for example, initially at a steady pace of 50 meters per minute, covers the distance of 200 meters in first four minutes. Then it slows down a bit, covering next 200 meters in eight minutes. And then he slows further down, covering the next 200 meters in 12 minutes. So what do we also notice here is if the distance is same and is being covered in longer duration of time, that means that the speed is decreasing right so that is a helpful tip for you 
it will help us to correlate if the values are given in the table right so if we are covering same distance in more time that means we are going slower and slower correct so that's another way of interpreting it correct thank you